Today on the Tiger Lacrosse Report, we'll review the Tigers game against the Michigan Wolverines and preview their matchup with St. Joseph's. It all starts right here on the Tiger Lacrosse Report, presented by the Green Turtle. Hello again fans and welcome to the Tiger Lacrosse Report. I'm your host Ben Rosenbaum. Tigers suffer a tough one goal loss to the Michigan Wolverines and as always I'm joined by the head coach of the Tigers, Sonia LaMonica. And coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So it's, it's, this has been a tough start um, yeah. when you look at it just record wise. Um, sure. still, still looking for that first win. What's the mood right now in that locker room? That has to be one of our strengths. We've got a group that since day one of this fall um, you could notice right away the, the positive environment, the atmosphere, the team camaraderie, the um, just inclusiveness then, and the supportiveness that they had for the group. Um, and that has carried through and, and as um, it has us right now and where we sit, that really has been a bit of a saving grace for this group um, to keep grinding. Um, but you know, even more importantly is to keep, you know, working hard together and, and believing that, you know, we're going to get there. We're going to get there and we have to just readjust some of our, our goals right now and focus on the little victories that, um, that we're having and build on those. It, it's a unique situation because you look at your senior class, you know, highlighted, you know, Carly Tullecamp and Natalie Samalte, for example. Freshman mm -hmm. year, they're, they're winning a CAA championship. Mm -hmm. And then sophomore year, they're making the NCAA tournament. Last yeah. year, they make the NCAA tournament and... It, yeah. it, they've they've not gone through something like this before. How yeah. have they handled it? Yeah, you know, again, I think really well. Um, I think it's easy to kind of take the road of, um, you know, finding all the negatives in the sure. situation. But uh, you know, we try and and remind ourselves of the positives and the silver linings. Um, and you know, I think our our leadership, our captains, Olivia and uh, Nad, have done a great job of that. Uh, but also just the team around them. I think it's just, um, it's a group where there are voices coming from many different people in a really positive way, not just from, you know, your captains. So I think there's a sense of ownership um, within the entire group. So um, it's not just, you know, our seniors. I think they're all working through it together. I think, um, you know, this program has known a lot of success. So I think even outside of the seniors, it's, you know, it's something different, uh, a different challenge for us this year. And, and what's most important is how we respond to it and how we build and grow from it. And that's what we're staying focused on. And then looking at the Michigan game, speaking of Natalie Somalte, her along with Caitlin Thornton, four goals each for them. And, mm -hmm. and Nat had been kind of quiet the last couple of games, as had Caitlin, and, and it, they got themselves going. Four, four goals, eight goals between the two of them. Yeah, um, yeah, I have to say, you know, Nat has obviously somebody that you notice right away being, uh, you know, on kind of your top half of the field. Um, and she's got a, a hard nose to the cage. And, you know, I think, um, you know, Caitlin really broke open and, and, you know, she was playing in other areas of the field that I think really opened up her game and you really got a chance to see that. And so that was really exciting to see her having a lot of success um, and, 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 you know, giving Michigan fits. I, she really did. So um, she's just, um, Caitlin is, is a great player and that she's dynamic. She's a great driver, um, but she's got her head up and, and she knows how to how to pull and draw and, and manipulate the D. So, um, and, and again, Nat just, she has a, a knack. I thought she did a great job in how she finished her shots, which, you know, that was something I know that, you know, was something she needed to work on from the last couple outings is making sure that she's taken an extra second to move the goalie. And she really did a good job of that. So um, the two of them were really, really strong for us. And, you know, we're gonna keep building and, and building the group around them so that we continue to have many threats. And then the other thing about this team is you're getting a lot of freshmen, a lot of young players getting mm -hmm. a lot of run. Um, you started a handful, um, Aaron Williams, uh, Molly Lynch started Molly the Lynch. other day. Carrie Obviously, Thornton. Caitlin Thornton's sister, Carrie Thornton starts. Uh, Carrie Liucci has been in yep. um, a handful of games as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, say what you will about the record, but this is, 
experience that is invaluable to these girls. Oh, it absolutely is. And again, there's a silver lining, right? Um, you know, we're, we're in a position where we're kind of throwing some, some freshmen in the deep end and it's a sink or swim mode. It's a learn quick mode. Um, and, you know, I think that it's an exciting thing. And um, because, you know, that's that's our future. And uh, there's nothing better than getting game experience. We can simulate all we want. I'm, I've said this before, probably right here with you, but there's nothing that gets you the experience as being out there in the thick of it, um, having to adapt. We can, we can only simulate an opponent so far. Um, and outside of that, they've got to get out and, and you know, get, get real experience. So um, that's going to um, help us, you know, leaps and bounds this year and um, into the future. So I'm really excited to, we just, we've got a lot of talent in those young bucks. So it's, um, it's fun to see them develop and grow. And again, um, you know, that the, the group is supportive around that, you know. And then Wednesday night back here at home in jo inside Johnny United Stadium taking on St. Joseph's. They've got a handful of scorers that can really score the, score the ball. Uh, Kylie Keating, I again, and you and I have yeah. said this, yeah. her stats are so misleading on how she's yeah. playing because the goalie's always going to get hit with the goals against average. But she's yeah. been standing on her head. She, you think back to the Stony Brook game, she kept you in that game for a long time. Uh, she had double-digit saves against Michigan. She's playing a really nice game. Yeah. How do you have to kind of, do you have to settle her at all? Just like, I know you're giving up all the goals, but she's making a lot of saves, yeah, though. Yeah, and I think as a defensive unit, you know, they're, they're hanging tough. Um, they're, they're digging in as our offense kind of, you know, works through these growing pains and, and you know, works to figure out the personnel and the right, um, the right systems to have in place. It's been a process for us. And I think the D understands that and, and Kylie too. She's really d does what she has been doing for us. So, um, you know, I, I think she's got a great group around her that helps. Um, but also, you know, she, she's a gamer, she's focused, she has high expectations, um, she gets great guidance from, you know, Coach Molster um, from that goalie perspective and she works on her game every day, you know, I mean, she's getting out and doing individuals every day after practice, quite frankly, and that, that shows, you know, and that's the difference sometimes, right? Yep, absolutely. All right, that'll do it for us today on the Tiger Lacrosse Report. Tigers take on St. Joe's. Inside John United Stadium, we'll have the call on TowsonTigers.com. If you can't make it out, game starts at 7. The broadcast starts at 6.45. For head coach Sonia LaMonica, I'm Ben Rosenbaum. Thanks for joining us, and as always, go Tigers.